we're going to be talking about working with Microsoft Word and, and basically taking something that looks like this and turning it into something that looks like this, um, which is an ebook, obviously. And this example of an ebook is an iPad, it's a tablet, but, but really the, the, the lessons that we're going to learn work on any devices, especially uh, sold by Amazon. And even though the iPad obviously is made by Apple, a lot of people who have Apple devices and other devices still buy from Amazon, not just Kindle users. So formatting, the real question for most authors is whether to hire out for formatting or to do it yourself. And it's very common to hire out. You can find inexpensive formatters. But do it yourself has a lot of benefits. When you learn formatting, you're really going to help yourself in many ways. Formatting, when you can do it yourself, it saves time, it saves money and you can add updates to your books whenever you want. That's really the nice thing, the thing that I like about it the most because I often have ideas after the fact of, oh, I should have put that in the book or maybe a reader tells me about a typo or, or a new idea that I want to add. It really puts you in control of, of making updates whenever you want, saving time, saving money, not having to wait on somebody else's schedule. And in my opinion, it's really smart to do it yourself. Okay, why Microsoft Word Doc or DocX, which is uh, the newer version? Um, the answer is popularity. Now, Microsoft Word is the most common writing program in the world. More people use it by far than any other writing program. And for that reason, all of the major retailers, starting with Amazon, have enabled it to be the upload writing program of choice. Now it really doesn't matter which version you use. If you have an older version or a newer version, they're all relatively similar and they all work great. If you don't have Microsoft Word and are thinking about getting it, older versions are a lot cheaper online than the newer versions and they work fine. So if, if you're thinking about getting Microsoft Word just for doing this or for uploading to retailers, that's a fine uh, way to go with an older version. Now there are some free alternatives. I've got two of them listed here. One is called uh, LibreOffice and the other is called OpenOffice. And they're very common free alternatives and there are other ones that you might find as well. I, I'm going to work with Microsoft Word in this, in this webinar, but free alternatives also work well. 